Ray Cyrus, Miley Cyrus. When you see Miley dancing around naked on the wrecking ball, do you, as a woman, do you go, oh, man, you're making the girls look bad. Put some clothes on, child. <laughs> well, actually, I think it's great that she's in touch with her own sexuality. I am not quite that free on a stage. I won't take that away from her. I think she definitely is feeling her own youth and finding who she is as a woman. And as she comes along in the music industry, I think she, I think she's very talented. She's a great writer. She has a great voice. She's still finding herself. She's a young woman. But now in the, in the pop music business, it kind of does seem like sexuality is kind of like the go-to fashion for a young pop artist female. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I think it definitely is, but it's also a huge part of our world. It's part of us as humans, our human nature. We are animals. Sex is definitely part of us, innately. Yeah. And you don't think that takes anything away from the artist? Like, oh, you're trying to be sexy instead of being an artist. Well, I guess it depends on the artist themselves and how they do that. I'm wearing what I would perceive as a sexy dress. Mm -hmm. Although it's classy, I think, I hope. It's still sexy, you can see my legs. I have sexy high-heeled shoes on and that absolutely is to accent the calves and draw your attention to it. Now, if you were sick in a hospital and a doctor came in dressed like this, would you take that doctor as seriously as a doctor who came in in scrubs? I don't know. Well, if it was a male doctor and he was wearing what if I wear. If it was a male doctor, that might be a pretty interesting, pretty interesting go around. Although, hey, yeah, you know, it shouldn't be any, it shouldn't be around. But you get what I'm saying? Like, if someone were in a different profession, would it be okay to expect them to have to be as sexy as we expect some of our female singer artists to have to be? They have to have a nice body. They have to show off some calves. They have to wear some low cut because they're in the entertainment business you're supposed to entertain right True. so do you do you feel like that's a valid statement that it's a little pushing the envelope too much I do definitely at times it's definitely pushing an envelope but I also know that here in America we also view sexuality and our bodies and nudity way differently than other areas of the world do you ever feel any pressure like as a female artist you say well, I shouldn't write this song because if I write this, girls are going to think I'm trying to say this about women. Or do you say, oh, you know what, that's a little too personal. I don't want people to think that because I wrote that, that I'm saying it's okay to do that thing or to be that thing. No, I don't. I've actually always done work and written from the heart and from my soul and what I feel. And I think that definitely makes for better work. And you certainly see that in the industry writing from personal experience. Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill. Definitely today, Adele, she has flat out stated that album was about love lost. She wrote from her heart, and I think she did all right with it. That's interesting. And so, Jilly, your songs, uh, I haven't heard yet. I wanna, I'm looking forward to hearing them. What's your best song, in your opinion, and why? Well, I actually have quite a mix of songs. I one. actually do a lot lot of different genres. It would be hard to say. You know, but you it is. Say one. You gotta say, okay, if I only get to listen to one song of yours, why should I listen to that song? What makes it your best song in your opinion? Well, there is a club mix that I recently wrote, and it's a very, very simple theme. It's called Who I Am, and it is about me to other people saying you want to know who I am. This song is going to tell you exactly what I am, and it's actually very simple lyrics. Mm -hmm. But then I combine in an aspect in the end of the song is also doubly about music being a part of everyone and who they are, and how to connect it as people. The music doesn't discriminate between what race you are, what gender you are, what religion you are. Mm -hmm. The music is a piece of all of us, no matter what background you're from. We all have that inside. Well, I really can't close the show on a stronger note than that. I love that statement. Um, but before we go, I want people to know how they can reach you because I want people to follow you. I dare people to follow Jilly right now. I dare you. 
make it happen. You a punk? Follow her if you ain't no punk. No. So how, how do people follow you? Well, I'm definitely on all the usual social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. I do all those crazy media things we all have to do today to keep in touch with the world. And it actually does include my real cell phone number on there. It is on there. My email address is on there. You can email me, message me. I'm on YouTube. So there's definitely a variety of ways. And before I close out, I just want to mention one thing. So, Jilly, you have to do that nowadays, though, right? Doesn't an artist need – you got to have LinkedIn, Instagram. you got to have all of that in order to reach the people that you need to reach to take your career to the next level. You agree, right? Absolutely, 100%. And if you don't, if you are off for a couple of days in traveling across the country by car from New Jersey to here, I had more messages. Where are you? You're ignoring me. I'm trying to find you. If you lose touch with that, people get really upset. <laughs> wow. And that's what it is. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you from my heart and my soul, the girl can sing. So check her live show out. Support that. Go to her website. Listen to her music. Become a fan of her music. Share it. Like it. And that is what's up. It's Ace Michaels. It's the Ace Michaels Show. Thank you guys for listening. Listen.